again. This is now technically our week six book review, which is on, of course, because it just came out this month and Tegan and I were super duper duper excited and this is fantastic. We love that we get to do our book review on this. It is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I'm excited. Okay, before I jump into the grading, I would just like to do a quick synopsis. If you're not familiar with the Shadowhunter world, I wouldn't start with this one just because she doesn't spend as much time explaining what Shadowhunters do as she does in the other ones. I would always start with the publica publication order. So if you're going to start reading the Shadowhunter series, by Cassandra Clare, you should start with The Mortal Instruments, move on to The Infernal Devices, and then this is her newest one, The Dark Artifices. And boy, was it a doozy. It was one of the biggest first books I've seen her write. It's huge. It's almost 700 pages, I think. Yeah, almost 700 pages. And it didn't feel like that at all. It felt like it was two pages. That's how awesome it was. Okay, quick overview of the plot. We have a completely new cast of characters. There's no Clarion, Jace, there's no, well, I don't wanna say no. It's not about Clarion, Jace, it's not about Tessa and Jem or Will Harrendell. It is about Emma Carstairs, Julian Blackthorne and his family. And the best part about this is that although it's a whole new cast of characters, it feels like home. It feels like home. And no matter what characters, apparently, I thought it would be different with new characters, but it feels fantastic. Just the same. Love it. I should probably get to the synopsis part. So, it's about Emma Carstairs, who's our protagonist, and we also have Julian, who I would say is almost as equal of the protagonist. And it's set in Los Angeles instead of New York or London. This is set in the Los Angeles Institute. And it starts off with a slew of murders with odd writing on it, demonic language carved into the bodies that are being found around Los Angeles. Similar to how Emma's parents were found five years ago, right after the Dark War, um, when Sebastian Morgenstern was killing people and the Clave just assumed that her parents' murders had to do with that. And she never believed that. She is intent on revenge. So this whole book is them investigating those murders. We have a convoy from Ferry who come and offer a deal, something that the Blackthorn family wants. I won't, I'll try not to give it away, but you can kind of guess what they might have that the Blackthorns want if you've read um, the Mortal Instrument books, but especially City of Heavenly Fire. So I think I'll leave the synopsis there. I don't think I could really go into much more without giving it away. And I'm gonna try to do this video without spoilers. So I'm just gonna jump straight into the grading. I will start with character development because that's probably the best part of this book. I'm going to give it a five out of five. I'm giving it such a high grade because it's just fantastic. These characters are so well crafted, just even better than in my opinion, most of the other characters that Cassandra has written, they're like Tegan said in her view, they're in her review, they're fleshed out perfectly. They have distinct personalities. Emma is just bent on revenge for her parents, and it's it's shaped her the past five years after the Dark War, and it, it shaped her into the person that she is. She's reckless. She's courageous. She's brave. She's stupid. She's all of those things that a 17-year-old girl would be after her parents had died and never found out who um, murdered them. And she's, she's hell-bent on finding out who did it. She won't stop. She, the revenge is eating her. The rest of the characters are just as great. Um, we have Julian, who is kind of the opposite of Emma. He is gentle. He's calm. We find out that he he does have a lot of lies hidden inside of him. He doesn't, 
he's not as open as he as Emma is. Emma's pretty much open. You can read her like a book. But Julian is more hidden. He has a lot of secrets. A lot of secrets that we find out as we read. And um, he has a lot of responsibility. This poor boy at 12 when he lost, you know, his parents and everything else in um, the book City of Heavenly Fire after the Dark War, he had to raise all of his siblings. And it's interesting to see the type of person he became because of that. So that's it for character development. I don't really want to go into everything else, all of the other characters. Just know that all of them are well done. They're all well done. They're all relatable. They're distinct. They have such distinct personalities. There are so many characters in here and it is not hard to keep them all straight. We know who they are, and that's how well Cassandra Clare has done to make sure we know these characters, just like they were our own brothers and sisters. All right, let's move on to cover art. So let me show you one more time. This is her cover. It's fantastic. So I think you can know exactly what I'm going to give this book. This book, the cover is definitely a five out of five because, I mean, look at it, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's got, um, this is actually Emma, I believe, and it's so symbolic, and that's Cortana, and it's dark, and you can kind of tell the way that her book is going to go, that it might be a little dark, it might be, it's not all happy sunshine, right? Um, even if I didn't know who Cassandra Clare was, which I obviously do, this book would have interested me. So her cover art is, of course, going to be a 5 out of 5. Readability is a 5 out of 5 for this. I flew through it. Even though I've been really busy and my schedule's been crazy and things have been going on in my life, it only took me about two and a half days to read this, maybe a little bit more because I had to sleep last night. Otherwise, I would have finished it last night. Instead, I finished it this morning. And even though it doesn't go into detail about everything that's happened in the past for these shadow hunters or what the shadow hunter world is like, you're going to fly through it. It's not going to take you very long. It's an easy read. So, 5 out of 5. Plot is also a 5 out of 5. I think you guys can assume that most of everything that I give this is going to be a 5 out of 5. The plot is fantastic. It's interesting. It's intricate. It's developed. It keeps you on your toes. It's just great. The plot's great. Next, I'm going to do writing style. This section's going to be a little bit longer because there's a lot to talk about when it comes to her writing style, obviously. It also gets a 5 out of 5. Um, I want to talk about how she relates what is going on in her story, her plot, to poetry and poems and songs. Um, she uses the poem Annabelle Lee by um, Edgar Allan Poe throughout the book. They're actually, the lines from the poem are actually her chapter titles. And it's extremely symbolic. I won't go too far into it because I really want to do this without too many spoilers so just know that that poem is important in this book and it works so well and I love the way when authors do that when they take something outside some other type of literature and they incorporate it into, incorporate it into their book and it just works and this worked it was perfect um, her writing style is fantastic you know we have developed characters we have developed plots we have just great relationships you have relationships that are well thought out relationships that make your heart hurt relationships that make your heart happy you have so many different types of things going on in this book um, I will let you know that my heart hurt at the end of this book it's it's a, a little bit heart-wrenching there and obviously there's going to be more we know it's a series so it ends on a whole bunch of questions there's just so much stuff to talk about when it comes to discussing where Cassandra Clare is going with this series it's fantastic Five out of five. And last is going to be enjoyment. Obviously, a five out of five. I loved it. It was great. I have to say that I still probably like the Infernal Devices series better. I just, I really love the, that series. I loved it. I love those characters. Um, but it, this one is already better than the Mortal Instruments, even though I love them too. So you can tell that I love, love this one. Uh, she did just such a fantastic job. She met all of our expectations for what her book should be and went beyond them. So I'm a little 
sad but mostly excited um, to wait for her next book to come out in this series. It's just, it's gonna be great. So our total is obviously a solid five out of five. You should read this book. Even if you haven't read any of the other books, you should start with City of Bones, work your way through the Mortal Instruments, work your way through the Infernal Devices, and then jump on this one. You'll love it. I'm sure you would love it if you skipped all the others as well, but I would recommend starting with the way that they were put out with publication. All right, I think that's all I'm going to say. I really didn't want to give any spoilers, so I I don't think that I gave any spoilers. No, I didn't give any spoilers. If you watch Tegan's review, which you should, it's fantastic. She does give spoilers in there, um, so make sure you're aware of that. She puts a big disclaimer before she starts her uh, spoiler her spoiler section, which is the half the last half of her video. So just watch out for that. But you should definitely watch it after you've read the book. If you haven't read the book yet and you are thinking about reading it, you can watch this video. This one's not going to give you any spoilers. Just know that after it was done, Tegan and I fangirled and oohed and odd and texted about it for hours afterwards. So I think that means something. Definitely meant something to us. So happy reading. We still don't know what we're doing next week. I guess it's my turn to decide because she technically suggested Lady Midnight but I'm not sure where we're headed with it so I guess that one will be a surprise because I haven't made any decision or looked into it. So let us know if you have any suggestions, subscribe to our channel, leave us some comments, leave us suggestions, check out our links, we've got all that good stuff down there. Alright, bye guys.